What is up everyone? So, uh, man, last video, we bought that FD from Tommy, which is hilarious. Look at this thing, absolutely hilarious. This is a pretty cool car. I don't know what to say about it, but if you didn't watch yesterday's video, go watch it because we picked up this from Tommy. I cannot wait to play with it because I really want to see this thing cleaned up. Now today, we have like an hour and a half to film a video because we have so much stuff going on before I head for Florida. Perfect t amount of time to, well, take my new 2022 BRZ, slam it on some wheels and coils. First mod always. And then, no, shut up. You guys have seen many videos with the 22 BRZ getting lowered on wheels. It's just part of the process. It's like the first step to anything, right? Make it look a little better, make it handle a little bit better. This car, however, is not getting slammed. This is not getting the tucked and fitted treatment. No, getting a nice stance. Stance. Fitted. Fitted. I don't want to disrupt the driving experience. So we're gonna go for a more functional lowered look to kind of clean it up and make it handle a little bit better. And we're gonna put some thicky tires on this thing so it still grips up and feels good, right? Sounds good? Curious on how it's gonna feel. Honestly, in good. stock form, this car is pretty great, but it honestly, it looks dorky. So be it. So yeah, another wheels and coil video, but hey, it's part of the process. Step number one. So of course we have a BC racing coilovers. There's a reason why everyone uses these things. They're fantastic. They last forever. They feel amazing. And we've had them in like almost every damn car now and they've always done us really good. So it's gonna get the car looking proper and feeling proper and that's what we want. So before we show the wheels and get it to that point, we have to get these things in there. So let's get on the lift, take the wheels off, take the suspension out, get it set up. Master Tech Gym. Oh, Soon yeah. to be. Soon to be. Look at that. Stock. It's really not that long. No, it's not that long. Tiny car. Well, it's one. All right, so when it comes to the rear coilovers, the top hat bolts are sometimes in a pretty difficult spot. Sometimes they put them underneath like the rear deck lid. You gotta take your whole interior apart. Sometimes they just shove it behind your trunk plastic. So, a little first aid kit. Oh no, what? Oh, air compressor? It's a flat tire kit. Look at it. That's sick. Comes with a like a one-time use probably pump and some uh fix a flat <laughs> that's kind of cool i've never seen that before one two brand new beautiful hardware look at this we ain't used to this what'd you expect i know i'm just so imagine just, you, <laughs> imagine there's just crusty <laughs> bolts in there there we go we don't need it i mean for a stock suspension it's already pretty small exactly Hmm. Yes, look at it. It comes with adjustable oh, end lengths like man. we were talking about. That's BC a, does not sleep. They don't sleep. They set us up. Nothing's worse than when you order a part and you need like another, another part, part to that like they, finish it. They don't tell you about either. Exactly. Part. BC? No, they leave you ready to go. Look at that. A double adjusting. Nice. They don't sleep. And Oops. it's an S13 front coilover. Doesn't it look just like an S13 front coilover? It's funny, it's a lot shorter. I know a lot of guys are saying one of the downfalls with the FRS and BRZ chassis is the fact that they don't really have much suspension to work with. And you can see it, look at Look how short the shock is. Here's the rear. See, look how tiny this is, dude. Dude, that is so small. Crazy, this is this looks like a Miata coilover. That looks like a dirt bike rear shock. Doesn't it? Shout out to BC, beautiful product, great parts, comes preloaded. So all I have to do is work on the ride height and uh, we don't want this thing slammed. So I don't really have an idea of how these things usually sit. We're gonna raise it. We're gonna play the conservative end of it. This one. Those are tiny. 
Look how small that is. Jeez. It's a Donnie size coil over. Look at that. Look at that, T Bone. Shove this thing in there. Everything's all new and tight. Got that. Boom. Usually you got all this stuff zip tied out of the way and stuff, but look at how we have mounting points. Love that. Nothing looks better than a brand new BC in there. Only on plus, baby. Subaru BC catalog option right here. I'm throwing on the adjustable end links, got them all set up. And then the front is ready to go. So obviously, since we're lowering the car, the alignment is also gonna be off, right? So our toe is gonna be a little bit different and its camber obviously will be different. So this is the point where you start scheduling your next alignment, right? That is right. That is right. I'm gonna bang out the rear real quick, but I have to go remote tune a car, so Big Steve, you and T-Bone are gonna install the rear coilover. Sound good? Cool, see you guys soon. We're gonna set the dampening super stiff, super hard, so that RJ doesn't wanna drive it. <laughs> Make sure both sides of the coilover are symmetrical and equal length, so that way when you lower the car, it is symmetrical. Symmetrical, perfect. Put the bottom in. Come on. Lupin helping us install the coilovers. So now the coilover doesn't reach to the mounting points in the strut tower. So you had to get a jack. Jack up the lower controller. Jack that son of a bitch up. <laughs> Got that son of a bitch in there, Tom. Both rear coils are in. Look at that. Look at that. Ready, T-Bone? Now that the coilovers are in, it's wheel time. Big exciting moment here. Get excited. Get ex exciting stuff. So. Since we're going with a function fitment, we need a set of wheels that look good in a function stance. Because not every wheel looks good in a function stance. Some look way better in a stretch tire slam stance than it does with a fitted tire on it. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Makes sense. Right. So sense. for that, we're going with a one piece wheel, right? So you ready? Four. Ready? ready? T37, psych. Slow. Advan. Advan, RZ2s. Kind of like Rays. They make high-end one-piece wheels. Very slept on. Advan probably has one of the best looking one-piece wheel designs out there right now. Yeah. They get slept on. So these cars are five by 100, which means there's not a lot of good JDM styling wheels available in that bolt pattern currently, at mm. least in stock, in right? Stock. They might not be my first choice, but I think they're gonna look really good. They're nice and light. It's a high quality wheel. I think the color is gonna look really good against the white. This better fit good, because TJ Hunt himself gave me the wheel specs. Really? Yeah, so these are 18 by nine and a half plus 40 with a 255.35 on them. I want to know what all those numbers mean. We'll like I'll be that. hearing y'all saying that plus 43, 25 <laughs> minus. Bring it down for him <laughs> quick, Jim. We'll, we'll do that off camera. <laughs> you, you got this, really. but I'll be hearing it. I like having a different set style wheel in every car. Mm -hmm. Keeps things fresh. And I think these are gonna look really, they might look awful. We're about to find out, but I think they might look really freaking good. So ready for it? Better not hit nothing. Ooh, actually. Damn. Bueno, que bueno. It's gonna look high end, I think. That's, exactly, that's what I wanted to go for. I just, I didn't want it like this. I didn't want the car to look like it's this like big stance car. I just wanted it to look a little fancier than. If we wanted a stancy, we would put it on VSKFs. <laughs> that's the go-to. <laughs> huh? You know, I was tempted. I was tempted to get TEs because TEs just work on a car like this. We all know it works. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to switch it up, and I think this was a good idea. Did the bird shit on the tire? That's shit? just a little lube. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering what that was too, but <laughs> that damn I ain't say nothing. <laughs> Money. Money. We might have to lower the front a little bit, but let's go some on it. You're gonna let everybody drive the car. It might be better if it's a Whoa, little this guy. See? I See what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Jimmy, did you know that there's no turbo in here? Yeah. That's that's, that's okay, okay with you? Is that okay with you or is that did well, somebody take it? Well it's sick because now Do we, should we call the cops? <laughs> Well, now it just has Same guy hella high it. compression, so when I put a turbo on it, that thing hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hits the rods right out of it. Yeah. He <laughs> said, Jimmy, did you? There's <laughs> not a turbo in here. Yeah, did, did you, not, trust me, Derek, the world knows. Did you know that this thing's slower? Or am I letting you know right now? So we stole Johnny's race ramps so we can get the ride height ready without having to take it off the list. Sick ramps. That's the worst part when you do coilovers, is adjusting your ride height 40 times. Center home tone. Oh, she's Keep going. Keep she's going. dropping low. Keep going. We got a little. Okay, so here's the thing we gotta keep in mind. One, it's gonna settle a little bit, it always does. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, do we just send it like that? It's, it's hard for me to not wanna tuck it, you know? Yeah. I'm a tire tucker kind of guy. Tire tucker. The rear looks sick. 
I like that. Like the exact same height of the tire. Mm-hmm. Real aggressive, so. Send her down, T-Bone. We might have to add a little bit of camera in the front because it actually does look pretty aggressive up here. <laughs> Who would have thought plus 40 oh, yeah. would be aggressive? Crazy. They look so big and wide. He said I killed it. Yeah, it, it looks all right. 10 for 10? Yeah, it's a 10 for 10. Wheels and coil day is like the funnest because you get like the biggest transformation ever. But what I love about it is it looks like we just got a, a higher end package version of the car, right? Yeah. I don't think it looks like super crazy aftermarket-y. Like a spec we never got in America. Like, like this that. is something we did import in like 15 years from now. But it would be factory, but it would it'd be, be like... It would be a factory deal, yeah. yeah. It makes the car look so much higher end. Oh, yeah. Dirty. Let's get this thing out of here and do some B-roll. It doesn't rub full lock, which is awesome. Yeah, no more super Test number one. Car. It's comfortable. That's executive right there. Nice work. Oh yeah, ABS. It doesn't rub yet, which is crazy. It's a lot of tire. Actually, the fitment's mitt right now. We killed it. This is great. Dude, it looks so good. I'm so hyped because like, usually there's like the same five wheels everyone picks from. It's like cool to see something different and actually look absolutely beautiful. It's good. It's good. It's good. The plan was good. The plan was good. These ugly ass brakes are killing the vibe right here. What so, kind of chunky brakes we putting on there? I don't know. I, I, I haven't done any Googling at all. I just been on a whim with this thing. So if anyone knows a good OEM option maybe an sti brake or something uh-huh let me know because what a nice color pop yeah the car is white so we can make the brake calipers whatever accent color we want yeah and it's just it'll, it'll make the wheel not look so cheap yeah <laughs> damn dude it looks like we tinted the windows too oh you did tint the windows. i did tint the windows okay, yeah i tinted nice. them last week and so i think it does a lot for it yeah so we have basically the full street hunter catalog coming in which is great shots to tj, TJ huh? they killed it on that like tj is my boy but beyond that, he killed it on those parts. So yeah. I'm really excited for it. And then obviously we have the exhaust coming in because the first thing I do is it, usually the first thing you put a muffler on your car, right? Because the thing is so quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the car look so much fancier, yeah. dude. Yeah, it looks good. So tomorrow I'm leaving for Florida and I was dying to see this thing load on these wheels before I leave. I'm so happy we got to happen. So looks beautiful, killed it. Stoked. Good game. Thank you. Thank you, Donnie, I appreciate it. So, but we got a lot of work still to do for the rest of the day. So we're gonna end it here. We are about to do the Stevie Story podcast. <laughs> Why are you giggling? It, oh, sound, it sounds very like theatric. It sounds very theatric, doesn't it? The documentary. The documentary. Now, so this week our special Maybe not, I want to say guess, but our like kind of our topic is going to be the story of Stevie, and I'm very excited for it. So we're going to bang that out right now. So if you guys want to check out that podcast, I'm going to put the link in the description for the Patreon. And uh, when this video is live, the podcast should be live, which is pretty cool. So we've got to load all the cars up, get ready for Florida. Uh, I'm probably not going to film the trip down to Florida because it just kicks my ass. I hate that drive. We got to drop the S15 off somewhere in northern Florida. The owner doesn't really want to be put on the internet, which I get. I'm still waiting for the address from Tommy on that thing, but we'll figure it out. Um, but besides that, when we get back, we finally get to clean this thing up because I'm dying to see this thing actually clean because it's been filthy, right? Look at it. Give it a good old wash in, maybe lower the coilovers a little bit, get all the panels to fit nicely, give it a good shine. And honestly, I'm expecting half decent results. And then it's up for sale. Get some money, move on to the next thing. And then the Sonda, the manifold will finally be here. Get the turbo on, we could finally play with the Sonda next week. Boom, easy peasy, right? Enough of me talking. We end it, Steve. If you want to leave your own RG three wheels for your BRZ, email me at support at shopjamilo.com. We're an Advan dealer. Oh yeah, we are a dealer for, for that these by the way. So if you guys want the same wheels, RJ can spec you out. Support at shopjamilo.com. I'll get you right. So uh, besides that, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Steve.
Have a nice night.